Welcome to all you need to know before imaging this or that. In this quick video, we're going to show you some tips and tricks for how to get the best possible image for this target. Let's, Let's go. go. So you're going to find the Andromeda galaxy in the constellation of Andromeda, I guess. Makes sense, right? Uh, it's located about 2.45 million light years away, which is very far. So it's not too far from a few uh, other deep sky objects, mostly NGC galaxies and clusters, but most importantly, uh, M33, which is a triangular galaxy. And the best time to capture M31 is in fall. Which is my favorite season. M31 is also known as the Andromeda Galaxy. Duh. And it has a magnitude of 3.4, which makes it the brightest galaxy in our nighttime sky. It is also the largest and closest galaxy that we can see from Earth, which is very, very cool. And it might be hard to imagine, but it actually spans the length of six full moons. Six moons. That's pretty huge. That's a lot of moons. And so because M31 is so large and so bright, it is one of the easiest deep sky objects to capture for beginners. Uh, probably the easiest galaxies out there. And you can capture it with any telescope, any size of you know, lens, uh, with just a camera. So it's really, really, very really simple to capture. This is M31 from the Hubble telescope. As you can see, it has an incredible amount of stars and beautiful gradient of colors. Now we're gonna work our way out to image it in wide field with just a DSLR camera and a lens. So let's go from Hubble to our very first Newtonian telescope, which is 800 millimeter in focal length. Uh, we used our Canon T3i camera here. So we were so happy to get this shot. And as you can see, M31 fits just right on the edges and all that. And if you want to see a single shot, here it is from the same setup. So as you can see, it's very amazing to see this uh, pop up on your LCD screen. It's just so great. So here it is with our new refractor, which is uh, at a 650 millimeter focal length with a full frame cooled camera. And now let's zoom out even more and prove to you that you can capture M31 with other telescope. So here you can see a picture of the Andromeda galaxy with just a, our old T3i camera, but this time with a cheap telephoto lens. So it's not that great as you can see, it's kind of ugly, but with our defense, we were still learning this hobby. It was our very first year, very first, like three months in it. So obviously it's kind of ugly, but... Yes, you gotta cut yourself some slack sometimes. But wait, we're not done, there is more. <laughs> so even, even though you, you don't have much skill, you can still get amazing pictures. If you go wider, for example here, using the Nifty 50 lens, which is a 50mm lens, uh, the Andromeda Galaxy looks even better. I like it. And if you're curious to know what that looks like in just a single frame, here it is. Now, if you actually think before you frame your target, and uh, take, your, you know, take your time, you can also get a second galaxy in there. So here is uh, another picture at 50 millimeter of focal length, and you can see both the Andromeda galaxy and, as a bonus, the Triangulum galaxy over there, which is kind of cool to have in the same frame, especially when you're a beginner. And last but not least, let's go a little bit wider with a 10 millimeter lens. Can you spot M31? Wait for it, hold on, hold up, hold up. It might be hard to see because there's no stacking involved here, but remember when we said it was the brightest thing that you can see in the night sky? The brightest galaxy? Well, here it is, right there. It appears really easily in time lapses, which is great. So the Andromeda Galaxy was officially discovered in the year 964. Wow. I mean, at least from the first known reports, but even our oldest ancestors uh, obviously saw it in the night sky because it's so bright and large. Just like the Pleiades and the Orion Nebula, you know, all three are so obvious in the sky from any, any year in the past. So the first person who discovered it is most likely a caveman. <laughs> you mean you? <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> okay. Now the first person to photograph the galaxy was actually Isaac Roberts in 1888. What? Yes, they had cameras back then. So he used a 20 inch reflector to do it. You can see a comparison here with our eight inch reflector taken 128 years later. To be fair, our Canon T3i probably was a lot better than whatever they had back then. They had cameras, but they weren't like amazing, incredible cameras. 
I think the, the tracking was also like all manually done, which is crazy. Incredible. Human feet. Yeah. So to conclude, uh, the Andromeda Galaxy is obviously one of the best targets for beginners uh, in this hobby. It's very simple to photograph, it's large, it's bright, but do not underestimate how bright it is. If you, you, know, if you do very, very long exposures for, uh, for each frame, you might really easily blow out your core in the galaxy, so be careful with that. Uh, we suggest starting around like three minutes, uh, depending on your, on your focal ratio, of course, but uh, try not to do like 10 minute long exposures unless you're uh, unless yeah. you don't care about blowing unless up the core. You know that, well, yeah, I mean, unless you, you play with your settings beforehand, but uh, the core is extremely bright. If you go to our blog post, you can see all the equipment, the exposure time, the ISO and gain that we used uh, every time we took a picture of Andromeda over the last few years. There are many times. <laughs> and also you can just use it as a basis to kind of see what you want to do when you go out there. We've done it in many different ways, so. Yeah, copy our settings and just try yourself and see if that works for you and uh, you might get a good image. So I made a video of myself when I went out in the desert alone uh, in the past uh, imaging both M41 and M45 so you can check it out if you want to. I think it's pretty interesting and you can see how, we, um, how I, I imaged the last version of our M41 image. So to conclude, the Andromeda Galaxy, all-time classic perfect for beginners. You'll probably take a hundred pictures of this in your lifetime. Awesome. We hope this video helped you get to know this target just a little bit better and helped to prepare you to image it. We would love to see your image, so go on our website and find this object on our gallery and attach your image to the comment section. We would love to see it. And by the way, online we have a bunch more tips for so many, so many objects. So go on there and check it out. So we'll catch you guys next time and clear skies. Catch guys.